And there's like this guy over here <laughs> with a chainsaw. It's like, yeah, I have shits to do, you know? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Yonda Might and welcome back to City Skylines. But this time with the new DLC, industries, 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 companies. Basically, you're building companies just as you did uh, with the park DLC. You, if you don't know, there was like this uh, park DLC. If you haven't been following the DLCs that go out through City Skylines, uh, basically this one allows you to build more complex parks. You could try to build, uh, if I can actually like find it over here, you could try to build uh, recreation parks. Let's imagine like the Manhattan Park in uh, New York. Then you had, uh, you could try to maybe build a gigantic zoo if you really wanted to using this tool. You can try to even build like, let's say, a national park. Basically, like just put paths left, right, and center in the middle of nowhere, like richly kilometers outside of your town, so the people can do go there and relax and be closer with the nature. Now, with the new DLC, it's the same tool. However, instead of like making parks, you make industries, you make companies, you make really big ones, actually. <laughs> so, to be honest with you, I richly got the DLC. I don't know how this thing works, so I'm going in completely blind. Uh, so right, what do we have over here? We have forest industry, we have farming industry, we have oil industry, we have oil, and we have warehouse. Yes, you built warehouses, like a separated thing. And then we have unique factories. Okay, how the hell I can get one? Uh, have a level 2 forest industry area. Okay, so plenty we have to start with that one. And also, of course, the garbage one. The garbage is now an industry? Really? The second center and drop off. Question is, okay, let me just turn on only the ones belonging to City Skylines. Okay, so those are the things that were in the game from the very beginning. Expect men before this one. And this one. And this one was. Okay, so the forest industry. How do exactly this thing works? No idea, it's all blocked. Forest remain building. Oh, wait, I think I know. Yeah, just as I thought. So you need to set up an area just as you do with the parks. Okay. Paint industry area. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 So like this is the park tool and this is the industrial tool. Right. So I want to really try to build something cool. There's shit lots of oil over here. Ooh, -ho -ho. Ooh maybe you should try to get that <laughs> our hands on that thing. That'd be cool. Storage buildings, let's have some. Okay. First things first. I want to do for like a forest industry for the beginning. Okay, so as I said, this works like the parks. You set up buildings, you need to make that thing work, you need to supply it with necessary like transportation uh, possibilities, so like roads, railroads, stuff like that, and then you get like huge profits, but uh, from what I know, from what I was able to gather, in order to actually make the factories run, you need to establish like a beginning city, the city needs to be at least a little tiny bit self-sustaining and it needs to provide you with a little bit of profit because the factories at the beginning won't make you that big of a money um okay i'm gonna wreck this place because if you don't know this is my city that i work from time to time uh so yes yeah, like <laughs> it's a lot of errors over here because uh, i should probably download some mods in order like to fix this thing but i just don't know which one so if you guys have any idea what mods i should try to get let me know please at the lot of god okay so i'm gonna wreck this thing because I really honestly don't like this highway. By the way, it came with the map. I found it on Steam. Like, the map is really interesting, but some things on this map does not exactly actually go the way it's supposed to go. Uh, okay, all of this needs to get destroyed. Literally everything. Right, I've uh, built a little bit the disaster of a highway that was over here. Now it looks a lot cleaner. <laughs> oh, okay, well, hold on a second. Uh, let me just fix this thing quickly. There I go. Ah. Much better, <laughs> a lot more cleaner. So I think this is actually a good place to start the like wood industry, right? We're gonna put like um, wood chopping industry over here. Like this looks like a natural part of a terrain, right? Like, I mean, forest, you know, it's supposed to have hills. It's, to it's supposed to go up and down. It's not supposed to be completely flat. So you get the idea, uh, right? So industrial area over here. Oh my God, it's so bright. <laughs> my eyes. It hurt! It hurt to, to paint. There you go. Sweetness. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you call this thing Amity region. Okay, that's fine. 
Okay, so what we have? We have oil actually over here, we have forests and we have ores. Okay, but for now I want to focus only on trees. So, let's see. I want to design this area to be forest only. Can I? I think I already did it. Okay, this industry area has no specialization. Build an industry area main building of either farming, forestry, or, or oil specialization. Okay. So, how do I start? Ah, there it is. Forestry main building. Okay, sweetness. Um, build next to the roadside. Okay. So, if you have ever played, like, let's say, Faro games. Okay, like Faro, Caesars, stuff like that. Industry in those games works like this. You need to provide them with the basic raft materials. Then those raft materials are turned maybe into the finished product or into another like half of a material thingy. And then goes to the next like warehouse and then it's like salt or whatever distribute. It works exactly the same here. So you need to provide rare materials. Then you turn that thing into something. Then you turn that thing maybe into something. And you get the payment. After you deliver this thing to the commercial zone. So... Let's see, can I please make a nice fancy road here? Ah, yeah. No, it's a fence. Okay, can I have a road then? No, I can't. Okay, so let's make this road over here. Ooh. Wait, this is new. Oh, industry roads. Hey, wait, wait, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. I want to see this thing. Wow, it's devastated. You can actually maybe make like a... <laughs> Follow type city. <laughs> That'd be cool. Okay. So grab a road to this. Now let's see. Hmm. How would I like to make this thing? If I would make like a nice little pathing over here. So. Oh, 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 oh. Something like this. Oh, yeah. This is actually not a bad idea. Hold on a second. Uh, I want to make like a turn. Okay, this this works. Alright, this this requires a little bit of fixing because I don't like it. Grab it over here. Rise it. Hey, this is nice. <laughs> want to be prepared. Okay, just we make like a fence or something over here. So to make things look more natural, I have like this natural reserve fence that you use from the park DLC and I'm gonna combine those two things together. So uh, let me just see. Hold on a second. If I'm gonna make you... No, no, I don't want you to make you on the road. I want you to make you here. There we go. And I want you to go next to the road. Probably have to like fix this thing a little tiny bit with mods. Oh yeah, this is gonna look so natural. Come on, get over here. And gonna grab you as well. Alright, gonna need fix this thing a little tiny bit. Hell yeah! Hey, this is nice. I love when mods, well mods actually, the, when the seals combine to one another and they can like actually turn out to be something more natural when it comes to like building and whatever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is nice. I like this thing. I love this thing already. It's so great. Ah, sweetness. <laughs> I would never thought I'd be so excited about building a fence. But okay. Right. So we got this, this thing here. And uh, let me just flatten this area a little bit more. Okay, maybe a little bit too much. Okay, something like this. So, now, you're supposed to start the industry, right? So you build this thing. Hell yeah! Okay, maybe, can I close this? Can I close this thing? <laughs> I don't want this thing here. I have unlocked a south mill, small tree plantation, a small log yard. Okay. Why the hell do you have palm trees over here? Hold on a second, can I change this? Apparently I can't. So, you get logs here, right? You get trees. And then those trees can be turned into paper or plant timber. Now, that's really cool. Right, so we got this thing established, so now what? Let's see. Okay, I know this thing, I like farming. Oh, ah, so the game actually will tell you how different thing works. Sweet. Okay, can I close this thing somehow? <laughs> I get the idea. Okay, whatever. Uh, right, so let's go back here. Let's see. Aha. Okay, so extractor buildings, and then you have the processing buildings. Sub mill. Okay. But then, now is the question, do I, uh, I'm supposed to put all of this thing here or can I for example just put the forces here 
the plantations and then like put the main factories in a different place let's actually try to do that thing and see how it's gonna go um da, 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 da. where's the road 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 there it is have you selected okay so the game the main guy will be sitting like here okay he will be like you know chilling and whatever and now there's gonna be another road actually you know what hold on a second i'm gonna do this thing more fancy it's gonna be great, trust me. I know, I know what I'm doing, okay? I have experience in the games like this. No, I don't. There you go. Okay, you're gonna go all the way down there. Okay, now. One route we're gonna go over here. Another route is gonna go over here. And then another route is gonna go here. Then another route is gonna go from here to here. No, like, make it look natural. Let's, let's be honest over here. If there would be a forest over here, with forest industry, then, like, it's, it would be, like, all over the place. There would be, like, some kind of little lakes around, some rivers, uh, you know, making the, uh, making the track, giving the tracks difficulty to travel around, right? So you would have to use, like, a specialized tracks to deliver the wood. You get the idea. Okay, this thing looks nice. I don't know why we have palm trees over here, but okay, whatever. Right, so we got that thing. And now I would like to build some plantations. So, one plantation over here, another one over here. Let's make a few over here as well. We cannot squeeze any one over there. One over here. Uh, let's see, I want to squeeze one more over here. There you go. <laughs> Palm trees? <laughs> Honestly? What the shit? Okay, one more over here, one more over here. Okay, so something like this. You don't even see that those have plantations. <laughs> so nice. Okay. So we got that thing of the deal there. Now, let's make another industry zone over here, okay? So the tracks from the forest will drive here on this destroyed road, okay? Like this is just temporary building I, because I don't exactly know where in the shit I'm supposed to put this thing in the, in the main city. So as soon as I get to the point of the main city where I was supposed to build like industry buildings and I'm gonna probably move some of this thing expect for the forest the forest uh, gonna probably stay over there so yeah if you guys have any ideas where you could try to build that thing let me know but probably this is gonna be like the main city main downtown um maybe I'm gonna make the industry over here maybe over here maybe over here actually or here it's not a bad idea we could try to make industry over here see how it's gonna go Maybe for the future. Uh, okay. First things first. I need to make like the layout. Let's see. No, a little bit further. There you go. Okay, you go here. And then the same goes over here. Awesome. Okay. So let's assume that I want to have another territory like this over here, right? So industry. Wait, hold on. Can I do? Oh, I can do. Okay. Uh, industry. You do this thing over here. And now you're supposed to build, once again, the forestry building. Okay. It's a little bit of, of the thing, right? Because if I'm gonna now put factories here... Maybe I don't have to put that thing over there. Wait, is the main building actually important? Forestry main building set a... Uh, owner sign industry areas. Type of the forest industry and allows its level progression. It also works at the industry area uh, headquarters for the city service vehicles. Okay, <laughs> whatever game. So I would love to, I would love to have a sub meal over here. Okay, this looks, this looks actually quite natural. Uh, what does we have? We have this small log yard, small storage yard for storing rough forest products. Storage building can be placed outside industry area. Okay, but I want to put it inside. Wow! Fancy! Okay, I'm gonna put one more inside of the area. So, if I could only squeeze you. I uh, don't like it. Now, also, we have warehouses over here. You have warehouse yard, you have small warehouse. Small warehouse for storing goods and products. A warehouse has three different operation modes. Filled, empty, on balance, default. On balance mode, the warehouse will operate based on the current demand. The operating mode can be adjusted from the building info panel. Uh, okay, so for now I want to build like the basic one. Let's build you... I don't know, here. Okay, what's this? 
balance it. So this also is none. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot of stuff. So, okay. Uh, I meant like at the beginning like two separated forest areas over here, but I've changed that idea. So now this is like one one big forest area. So we have like the south mill and the storage over here and then we have like the plantations over here. All right, let's the game roll. And how does exactly does this thing works? Worker one. Okay, so now you're supposed to work for workers. Yeah, multiple problems. You don't have water, you don't have power. All right, you can easily fix that issue. Uh, wait, how much power do you actually require? You don't tell me how much power you require. So what, I'm supposed to connect you to the main network? Hope not. Okay, let's build like a wind turbine on the hill up here. There we go. I'm gonna connect this thing with this. And you're gonna go all the way down here. Okay, and this thing is connected. I don't know why our warehouse requires electricity whatsoever like this. <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Whatever, okay. Okay, at least the the, uh, the, 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 the the plantations don't require water. I mean electricity. Because that would be hilarious. Uh, Alright, actually, you know what? Late this one. Because it's gonna annoy me. There you go. Okay, now we require water. Okay, so let's put like a water tower over here. I'm gonna look, uh, make this thing look natural as much as that is humanly possible. Okay, I think it's working. How do I know? Because I see trucks. Oh, <laughs> look at this one. They actually have like different trucks. It's so cool. <laughs> it's like an entire convoy of logs going around. And there's like this guy over here <laughs> with a chainsaw. It's like, yeah, I have shits to do, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna follow you guys. Hold on. Uh, can I follow you? There you go. Can I close this thing off? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah! <laughs> <It's> so cool. <laughs> I'm really proud of this thing. Yeah. Hard work. Hard wood. Okay. Now we're gonna go on the faster road. Completely destroyed and devastated. Okay. Yeah, because like you know, industrial area. Uh, most of the time, like, heavy vehicles only go here, so... Oh, and actually, like, fills! What are the sources? <laughs> That's so sweet! Okay, so what's your problem? Why are you not working? Oh, because you require workers, apparently. Educated, not educated. Okay, I should have tons of people working, I mean, unemployed back at the city, so... You just have somebody to work here, alright? You hear it? Well, just come in and Expect talk for the lady talking about money. The Salmin is working! The Salmin is working! This is the same guy over here. Ooh! We are the law. Accountant. The law accounting. This thing is moving! <laughs> okay, rough products and it's turned into planet timber. Okay, so what's the level of this place? No idea, probably like level zero. Produced uh, 102 tons of this. Politics. You have politics? Improve logistics? Okay, improve at war of safety. Advanced automation. Robots and other automated systems make the production process faster and more accurate. Ooh. Okay, let's activate all of this. Because I can afford it. No problem. Okay, when you guys are going. Wait, this is a one way road? No, it's a two way road. Okay, so where are you going? Hey, hold on a second. I'm going to a facility. Which facility? The base is over there. Where are you going? Come back. Oh, whoops. Ah, look at something new. Okay. Uh, timber facility has received level 2. Area bonuses. Efficiency plus 4. Pollution minus 10. The following buildings have been unlocked. Biomass pallet plant. Furniture factory. Self dust storage. Forestry worker barracks. Smart tree sapling field. Okay, so let's see exactly what these new things are. Okay, what's this thing? Small field with rows of planted tree saplings. Tree saplings field produces rough forest products. Extractor needed to be planted on forest area instead of industrial. Okay, so what's the bloody difference of those things? This thing produces 4,800 units per week. This one produces 6,400? Sweetness, my god! Okay, so we can make actually some diversity around here. Right? Yeah! Holy shit! <laughs> this is cool. 
Okay, let's make another one over there. There we go. Okay, so those are those two things. Now let's see. The next thing is biomass pallet, and you make wood. Uh, wood. I mean paper from this thing. Okay. Ooh, it's actually a build thingy. Okay, so let's build it over there. Holy shit, it's complete. Look at this. It's so bloody different. I have so much wood over here, honestly. Okay, so those two things. And served of storage. Served of storage building. Use it for storing rough forest products. Storing, okay, capacity 40,000. So this is just like a storage house. It just have like a different name and different look. Wow. <laughs> it's so cool. Okay, so got that thing out of the order. Uh, so now I mean imagine that we need some kind of like factories, right? And the factories we have over here. Furniture factory. So you combine logs and you combine paper and you get a finished product. Wood Vision is a furniture manufacturer known for its innovation design and deceptic style. The Wood Vision Furniture Factory requires plant timber and paper special goods to manufacture the value products. Unique factories can be placed outside the industrial area. Okay. I want this thing in my life. Uh, let's see. What I could try to build you actually. Okay, the highway ends over here. So let's assume for a second that I would like to continue this highway here and I want to make something fancy. Okay, so I prepared like the area for the factories. So let's see. Wooden factory. Okay, it's actually quite big. So this is supposed to be the factory, right? The wood, okay, so I only built one. So I'm guessing that a good place for this thing would be like in the middle of the industrial area, for example. Production right? furniture. Ooh, okay. So let's see. This area at the moment, we have problems with criminals, honestly. Uh, have you advanced? You have advanced. Have you made any profit? No, you are actually making... You're costing me money, but okay. Because when I started this thing, it was minus 1200. Now it's only minus 116, so that's okay. So that means that I'm exporting a little bit of the wood. Look at this. <laughs> so many trucks around. What is this? Like, really? So many trucks around? Okay, and this thing requires water. There we go, have fun. Okay, so that thing is working. And now the trucks are leaving this place. Okay, so they're going around in the crazy roundabout, whatever this thing is. And they go here. Okay, let's try to follow one of the trucks with the wood, right? So where is it? Where's one? Where's one? Where's one? I need one. I need one in my life. And there's a car, there's more wood logs over here. Okay, where's this one going? Exporting first products They're living for us to Save meal, but the save meal is over here Small tree plantation You are apparently like going around the thing, I don't know why <laughs> What is that supposed to be? Hmm. Oh wait, I think this one's no, this one's transporting logs Exporting planet timber products, okay, but How do you you produce this thing, right? So how do you get that thing to get to the factory? Oh, wait, hold on. I think you're transporting planks, aren't you? Yeah, but you're exporting. I need to find a way that the one track that's gonna be going to the factory, actually. Oh, fun one. Going to the furniture factory. Okay, hold on. Hold on a second. Follow you. There you go. Okay, I want to see this roller coaster of our emotions over here. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 I'm getting dizzy. Oh, I'm gonna get sick. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Okay, this is not bloody normal. Okay, on the highway. Thank God. Oh. Okay. Now I need to get to the f uh, furniture factory, which is over there. Oh my God. Oh, oh, I'm gonna get seasick. No, no, no. Oh, oh thank God. Woo. Almost home. Almost there. Okay, now we go on the normal road. We go down. Okay, and now we just go straight to the furniture factory. There we go. Oh, hello. Hi, Bob. Hi. Hey, where are you going? Okay, I think the road system is a little bit weird over here. It's not a one-way road. It's two-way road. So why exactly the truck went around? I have no idea. The path fighting for the trucks apparently is not that good yet. Okay, good vision. So you go in, right, you drop both resources, and now you're gonna produce, like, actually, 
furniture, right? You did. You already did it. Okay. So you send out a truck, and this one is going to Mega Shop, which is this thing over here. In the middle of the town. Okay, so you have to go all the way around as well of the of the map. Production value. Material cost. So if I understand this thing correctly, the factory cost me 320 cash to to upkeep, but the products cost me 840 and from all of those things I made 2400 per delivery. Well, per, per finished product actually. <laughs> wow, that's nice. That's actually quite a lot of money if you think about that, comparing to this game. Okay. So, how do I lock the other stuff? How do I lock, for example, this thing? Farming area level 2, bakery. And uh, what else we have? Industrial steel plant. Okay. Household plastic factory. And uh, toy factory. And that's all industry. Printing press. Level 3 forestry required. Okay, level 3. And how much to get to that level? A little bit. Right, my little forestry area advanced uh, just to level 3. I didn't actually do anything. I just added like the worker workers uh, barracks because apparently this increases the efficiency by 5% per each and you can build up to 100 additional like 100% efficiency. So I'm guessing this works a little bit like in Tropico if you can play that game or watch it and play it. Uh, okay, so now we have medium tree plantation 8000 units. Okay, sounds very nice. Very nice. I can actually build you. You know what? I don't like the idea that I don't see the road. <laughs> oh. I don't see a jack shit. Or I can actually build you. Hmm. Here. Here and another one next to you. There you go. This works. Okay, what else do we have unlocked for me? Hmm? Game? Biomass. No, we have this thing already. We have a large York yard. Okay. Not exactly needed at the moment. Do we have a new factory? Yes, we do. Printing press. Okay. So this one takes the paper and takes something else. It takes plastics. Oh. So we get to the point where we actually need to combine different uh, industrial areas in order to produce like uh, new things. Okay. So let's actually see in the meantime how is my furniture factory doing. It's making money, apparently. Wait, do you have the information about you in the income? Yes, we do. It's over here. So, I have at the moment income of 3,600 and the expenses are 1,500. So, in total, I'm making around 2,000 in profit. Minus the warehouses, because apparently the warehouses are not making any profit at the moment. So, the warehouse is this thing. Okay, balance it. Fill, empty. Is this thing only? No, wait, hold on a second. This one as well. Okay, so the storage areas currently produce me like expenses, they don't earn money. Hmm, I kinda like wonder can you, exam for example, assign this warehouse to work for outside of the city? Like, a different city is having a need of storing some things and they can send the trucks over here to use your warehouse and pay you for that. I don't know, maybe? How to say? Okay, so is this thing progressing even further? Yeah. <laughs> it's progressing basically on its own. Wow. Okay, apparently we're importing something which is not very good. Sweet! Wow, this actually this is very fancy. So... It, like, this is more of like a micromanagement, because previous time, the only thing you needed to do is just design the area for the industrial, you uh, press like the button and allow the game to flow, and you just needed to provide the area with, with workers, with electricity and with water, and basically factories were growing like mushrooms after like rain, whatever thing, and now you actually get to the point where you have to help the industry by planning where they have to place the warehouses, where they need to place the uh, rough material gathering devices and stuff like that. So this is nice Like this gives city skylines a completely different view on, on some things 
you can get like more personal with the industrial that you have in the city. For me, it's like actually super cool. You know, I can like wonder. Well, wonder the guy are probably gonna be some some maniacs who will make like mods, and they're gonna probably like design an entire bloody ass factory uh, with the mod. That'd be cool. Just saying. You know, like maybe Camera. electronics, There's something like that. Like you <laughs> Build your own Samsung device no today. Okay, so I hope this gives you like a more or less of idea what you can expect from this new DLC. It's something new, something more interesting because normally you get like different buildings, you get like different, uh, maybe let's say call them edicts for the city. Now it's actually more of a micro management and you can, I think you can actually make like crazy amount of money with this thing if you have if you be established like the like uh, like a good factory with a proper like layout and with proper warehousing and supply and stuff like that then technically you can make like tons of money with it and i'm saying like tons and tons of money uh, speaking of tons and tons of money okay the factory is not working currently because it requires timber and paper so apparently i'm not making enough of those how is that even possible Okay, so let's actually add maybe a submill or two more and one more of the paper ones. Okay, maybe now this thing is gonna work and maybe you just don't have enough workers. Yeah, you also don't have workers, so that also could be like a possibility why this thing is working so slowly. Yeah, but I, on the other side, I've built it like very far away from the main city, so you know, that could be like a thing. If I would probably build it closer, then this thing would probably work a little, a little bit better. <laughs> Just saying. Okay, so the thing is, I'm running slowly and steady at the record time because this is like late night. I barely received like the key uh, for the, the ZOC like an hour ago. So by the way, thank you Paradox for providing me with the key. <laughs> the key was provided by them. Uh, so yeah, if you want to try the DLC yourself, it should be available right now on Steam. I'll leave you link in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna probably continue, tr well, gonna try to continue expanding my city. I have a more or less idea what we're gonna try to do over here. I think for the next episode, I could maybe try to establish the ore industry, but I'm not exactly sure about that. Maybe actually we're gonna try to play uh, like a new park and then we're gonna try to make a new industry i don't know we're gonna see that's gonna be probably the thing that's gonna happen in the future uh let me know what you think if you have any ideas uh suggestions can be leave it in the comment section below for now though i'm gonna leave it as over here so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you liked the episode this is absolute let's see you all in the next video